The idea for this shot, I just wanted more a contrast and tonal range in this image, and that kind of applied to my model as well and the skin tones. So I've gone for a hard light source so I can get that contrast range in my image. So it's an overhead light source with a 30 degree optic, just with the barn doors, which are wide open so I can get that spread of light. And that light is positioned just in front of my model. So we have to position the light carefully forward in front of the model so that the rest of the light can spill across the body down across to the floor. And because it won't quite reach all the way, we then use a second orbiter with a small softbox on a low boy stand, very low to the ground, with the power turned down quite low, just to lift the shadow areas in the bottom of our scene. We've got a dark head model. We needed to just shoot a little bit of light through that from the back, just to give a bit of separation and show that texture. So we've used the optical projector where we can control the, the shutter blades in it to really close our light down. So we've got a controlled light source. We can position it exactly where we want it without affecting the rest of the scene. Um, and that then just lit the hair beautifully from, from there. We then applied a, a blue hue on both the fill light from the front and the hair light from the back. Because the power is so low and only lifting the shadows, it means we had a lovely blue tone in our shadow areas that didn't affect the rest of our shot, but gave us just a beautiful color difference of edge, just to balance the image a bit nicer. We were losing a little bit of light on the, the right-hand side of the fabric, so just to kick a little bit of light in there to lift those dark tones, we just popped a little L5 Ariel 5 in there just to lift it ever so slightly. Naturally, with a darker skin model, you're going to get a warmer skin tone, and the reds are already giving a warmer tone to the shot. And if that's a little bit too warm, you can experiment a little bit. And the good thing with the orbit design, we can change our white balance in our orbiters. So we've taken them from 5600 and we've dialed them down, which is easy on the control on the control board, just to dial them down to 4900 degrees and it will give you a slightly colder looking or a bluer looking white, so it's not such a warm tone. And that, of course, we can adjust on all the ARRI lights so that they're all the same. You're changing your set rather than changing your camera and post-production. We all know that with modifiers, sometimes you will get a color shift depending again on soft boxes that you use and the diffusion in them compared to hard modifiers and the shape of the modifier and the size of them can, can all sort of affect a bit of a color balance shift. So the nice thing with the orbit is that because it knows what attachment you're putting on the front, it will auto adjust the white balance so that that doesn't change when you change modifier. So that keeps your, your white balance as, as true as it was from the first one that you put on to the second or third. And of course in this set, we used five orbiters in this one for this to get everything we needed. So using a lot of modifiers from the projection units to Fresnels to 60 degree optics open to softbox domes and fills, we could kind of sit comfortably and rest assured that the, the orbiter knew what we were putting on there so that our white balance was consistent. Our second look for this setup was to change our fabric from the lovely vibrant red to a, a rich dark black. And the fabric was good, but it was a very thin grade of, of, of silk, which when you're having a pure white background, which we wanted the contrast of the black fabric and the, and the white, pure white backgrounds, the fabric needs to be quite thick because if you're backlighting something, then that light on a thin fabric is just gonna bleed straight through and your black fabric is no longer black. <laughs> so when you're in situations like that as photographers, you know, we're, we have to rethink on the spot because that's just not gonna work and there's no other option for fabric in the moment. So you have to change plans. So the other option was we would color our background. We put a red hue and with the ARRI orbiters. If the reds are looking a bit too washed out, we can just dial down the intensity of them to get a more solid, darker red, which is what we did in the end. And then, you know, we, we then use our fabric the best we could, but with a hard light source and the way we changed the shape of the fabrics, we came across other problems of getting all the light across all the fabric. So again, you have to rethink what you're originally going to do. And then we had to bring in other uh, ARRI orbiters with some fill lights to, to make 
make the shot the best we could, but it just goes to show you that you can't always, you know, nail the shot you wanted because of the props that are being used, which is nothing to do with lighting. <laughs> We've captured some amazing shots today and exactly what we wanted. And then of course you come across others where you didn't quite get what you wanted, but then you get something new you didn't realize you were gonna get. So it's full of what we like to call happy accidents. You know, it's, you never planned it, but hey, it worked out all right in the end.